Now we're going to jump into something really exciting. We're going to look at video. Video has been updated in Photoshop CS6 Beta. You're going to love what's in the timeline. We can actually edit and trim video, add transitions and different things. So let's jump in right now and work with a little bit of video and I think you're really going to enjoy what you see. Let's have a look and see what's been added in video. So here we are, we've got a uh, no documents or anything open. Just make sure your timeline is visible by choosing Window, Timeline and then it'll be visible. So if we want to create a new document, we could either choose File Open and we could open a video file or we can just click down here and we're going to add media. So let me do that quickly. I'm going to grab a piece of video. Let's go down and grab this one here. We're going to click Open. So here it is in the timeline and this is the beginning and obviously this is the end. It's nine seconds. So we can click and drag and we can scrub through the timeline or if we want, we can just hit the space bar and it'll play. Depending on how much RAM you've got on your machine, it'll play at real time or close to it. Notice in red there, it's not quite at real time, but it's looking pretty close. And I can actually turn up the sound. So you can see we've got sound there. But I'll turn that down so it's not distracting us. The space bar will play it and stop it. Now notice as we're going, this woman here starts to walk into our frame. So we want to be able to edit her out. So what we can do is we can set our out point, which is at the end, and we just click and drag. And notice as we do, we get this preview. It shows us what's on our video. So let's go right to the point where she starts to come in. There we go, right there. So it's trimmed our video now. And we don't, and we can actually zoom in a little bit. This is, if we want to zoom the timeline, we just click and drag here. And that will zoom us in. It's not changing the duration of the movie or anything like that. All it's doing is getting us to get a closer look. So what if we want to add another clip? Well, let's go under Video. Actually, there's no video <laughs> layer. Actually, we're going to go under the layer. And then we're going to go down to Video Layers, New Video Layer from File. And let's find another uh, video here. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Why don't we grab something of the ocean coming in? I've got several of them here. Let's, let's take this one here. Let's click open. And here we go. Let's check this out. Notice it comes in after the other one. And we can go. We can look at that. There's the water coming in. Wonderful. And then it starts to go back out again. So let's just zoom this down a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. And we're just going to trim the tail of that as well. So let's just click and drag right to the point. Let's bring it where the water's in here, right there. And we're just going to let that go. And let's go and trim the beginning. We're going to click and drag, like maybe right at that point where it's just starting to come up. I like that little splash there. So let's start on there. And notice it ripples, or it just snaps the beginning of that other clip. So there's no gap in between, and it makes it easy for us to work with. So if we want, we can just hit the space bar now, and you can see that we've got both these clips one after the other. And it's playing pretty close to real time there. It's showing us 29.97, which is real time. Um, obviously, we're only looking at this 33%. So we're actually playing 1080p in here. It's pretty heavy video. So as you can see, Photoshop is taking really, really good use of the Mercury engine, which is using the GPU on a video card to get us really good playback. It's also taking good advantage of the RAM. There's 16 gigs of RAM on this machine. So I want to bring another track in. So let's choose Layer. And then we're going to bring in one more video layer. Let's scroll down here and we'll bring something else. Let's do something completely different. Let's bring the, the vehicle ones here. This is good. So what we've got here is we've got this effect here. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim it right there when we zoom down. We've got that nice blur effect. Going to trim the beginning right to the point just before it blurs. Notice once again it snaps. And the reason I've done this is I want to show you something. Let's just open that up a little bit more. Bring it back and look at the notice, the order here. It starts with the sunset, goes to the water, and then ends with the car. Notice here in the layers panel, it's the same way. So if I take this and I move it up in the layer panel, notice it moves it in order. So chronologically, it starts at the bottom, works its way to the top. So if we snap it in here, it changes it there as well. So you can see it's easier just to move it in the layers panel here than it is there. Now, what if we wanted to overlay? say one clip over the other and, and have them playing at the same time. Can't really do that there. Well, what we can do is drag this one out of the group. And uh, let's get that there. And notice it puts it on its own layer. So if we put it here, 
and we played around with the opacity we could have both layers playing over the top of each other see that so we can get that kind of like nice cool effect there and notice it doesn't quite last as long as the other one so we want this one to fade out elegantly well we have transitions click here on the transitions and we can cross fade or fade so let's take this and we're just going to grab the fade and we're going to drag it to the end there and notice what it does is it just fades that one out we can have everything fade from black so let's do that let's fade from black drag that to the beginning and also drag it to the one underneath and you'll notice it starts with black now it goes to that fades out what about transition between these two well let's grab that transition and let's choose a crossfade drop it in there and we can see it so let's pull us up a little bit and you can change these transitions like this increase the duration got this nice crossfade there so let's just hit the space bar now and play this so there we go fading from black you've got two layers playing on top of each other slows it down a little bit and then fades out to that and then you can see it goes to there maybe we'd want to end it there drag it out hit a fade to black see how easy this is to work with and then that will just fade that out so now you could put text and different things like that in here if you wanted you could animate uh, different things over the top of each other we can apply filters we can apply layer styles anything you can do to a layer in Photoshop you can do to a video layer so you can see what a powerful engine it is and then when you're ready to get it out of there we just click this little button here and this is our render button and then we have the options here and this will come up and we have the options if you have Adobe Media Encoder installed you have the option to use that or we can do an image sequence an image sequence is where we do a sequence of images and here we can render out at different sizes h264 that'll work on a lot of your mobile devices and you know right now we're not going to get into all of that but we would just click render and then it would render the video and then you could watch it at different places so that's video in CSX beta you can see there's a lot of new stuff here and it's really quite powerful quite flexible